experience. Bro, I got rejected from Arsenal at like nine, fam. Yeah, it was a. They, a they sent me away because I couldn't do kickups, fam. Really? Yeah, I could do kick, bare kickups with my right, but they were like, oh, do it with your right and left. And I was struggling, and then they're like, all right, cool. Like, obviously, you look technically sound and that, but come back when you can do like kickups on both sides and we'll have a look at you. Not even trial, sorry. I was meant to go on Millwall, bro. They just wanted to sign, man. Really? Like that. Sick. But um, my dad was like, People got in his ear basically in it saying that, you know, Mill was a racist club. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mill was a racist club. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not gonna disagree, obviously as a West Ham fan, Mate, but <laughs> your boy's black, they're gonna train wrong. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Dad, I just wanna play ball, fam. Yeah. Do you get me? I even remember on my first day, fam, I pulled up and one of them called me a nigga, fam. I was like What? Bro, I was <laughs> like, bro, but it wasn't it wasn't on a on a distant thing. Yeah. He was like, yo, my nigga. Yeah, I was like, they think it's cool. Like, obviously, they see the music videos. And yeah. Blah, 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 so they think they can Bro, get involved. And they actually use that excuse, in it? Like, yeah. while I hear it, I don't hear it. So, yeah, so I end up signing for them. And then that's where the Enfield journey started. The Enfield journey begins. 20, what year, what year is it? 2018. The Enfield journey begins. <laughs> and let's let's just talk about that. The beginning of that journey. So you start at Enfield Town. So what's that, in the middle of a season? Or is it at the... Is yeah, it? so I transferred, like... Start of December. Okay. Start of December. And so that December to May, does it go well for you at Enfield? <sighs> I only played for Enfield for three weeks. Deep it. So I played the whole of December for Enfield. I think I played four games, scored three goals. Mm-hmm. And then it, things were looking up in it. Like, yeah. oh, his name's buzzing again. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Um, And then we played Potter's Bar. Like December 29th. Yeah. I remember the date. December 29th, played Potter's Bar, um, bagged, but then saying, broke my foot. I was running, knocked it past somebody, then it was like 50 50, and then I just heard my foot go crack. I met a tussle the outside. I was like, hmm, I don't know. So I was just hopping it off, but then I was like, yeah, I can't continue. So I just hobbled it off, and I was like, oh, maybe it's just my ankle. It's just sprained, isn't it? Mm. And then, bro, I walked home with a broken metatarsal fam. I'd even know. Then I was just snapping it. I was just like, look at my foot, man. Hopefully I'll be all right in a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I went to hospital the next day because I couldn't sleep. Bro, yeah. foot was just thumping, bro. Yeah, oh. bro. I was like, cool, like, let me go to hospital. And then I think it was the morning after where I realised this is serious. And then went to the hospital. They were just like, yeah, mate, you, you broke a metatarsal. Um, you know, Best guys to 68 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, six to eight weeks. <sighs> That's mad. Yeah. Long, but it's calm. I'll firm it. Six to eight weeks, man. And bro, I was so driven from like when I broke it to for me when it was time to come back. So driven, so happy. Like, you know I mean, reading things on just how to be better. Um, even read like, you know, being positive yeah, yeah. will heal your like it'll heal it quicker. So I was just on trying to do that, do that. And then I came back in March. I still didn't really feel ready, but yeah. I came back re-injured it one game. And then, yeah, I was out for the season. Jesus Christ. Yeah, fam. And then that was my season. So I only played like five games for them. And then that's when we get into the summer. Yeah. So wait, let's just pause there. So we get to the end of the season. Have you just signed a con- Have you signed a contract with them? For no, them? Non- non-contract. So you get to the end of the season, are you thinking, are they going to have me back in pre-season now? Because obviously I've only played three games, I did well, but I've been injured. Is, are those thoughts going through your head? That you know what, shout out Gaffa, Andy Lees, shout out Gaffa, because um, even even Mario, like, even the chairman, to be fair, like, mm-hmm. all of them, they saw what I'd done in those four or five games, and they were like, because I don't think they were doing too well, yeah. but when I came, like, we won four in the bounce. Right. Do you get me in with scoring goals, clean sheets? Yeah. And um, I think in that moment, they believed the man in it. They were just like, we've seen your talent. Like, we, we know what you can do. We still want you back. Right. I was like, nah, you know, thank you. At least yeah. I know I have somewhere to go to to play my football. And but also at the same time, I was thinking, oh, I'm 22. Yeah. Well, I'm turning 22. I need to be somewhere. Yeah. Do you get me? Um, And I was kind of losing faith that non-league could be the way in it. Yeah. So I was obviously I went to Scotland, tried for Dumbarton, okay. done well against Dundee United, scored. They won it, man, but offered me they didn't offer me um the terms that I wanted, let's say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's say they yeah. offered me the terms that I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only wanted fifty pounds more, but <laughs> 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 But you know, you know, he said he didn't have it and yeah. you know, he said he would, you know, if he could he would, didn't it? And yeah. 
you know um he was actually a lovely guy man do you know what i mean very lovely guy but um that led to me coming back and yeah just signed for enfield and i wanted to be on contract innit? it yeah I said no, mate. You're not going. On contract. <laughs> <laughs> you just broke your foot. You're not going on contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. So I just ended up signing for them. But yeah, they always wanted me back. So yeah. I always be grateful for that stuff. So we're at the at the end of 2018. At that, that beginning, so August or whatever. Of so where so where I've just stopped is August 2019. 29th. 2019? Yeah, because I broke my foot in 2018. Okay. December. Right. So I've okay. come back in March yeah, 2019, yeah. redone it. And then I've come okay. August 2019. And, and, that's the, and is this the beginning of We Outside? Right. <laughs> this is the beginning of this is the We beginning. Outside. So what's the mentality going into this season? Look, I'm at tw- I'm 22 years of age. I need to be somewhere. Like, I need to kick on now. I think the mentality was it's either this season yeah. or it's not. Right. Do you get me? I wasn't going to quit, but I was thinking it's got to be this year. Right. It has to be. Right. Do you know what I mean? I remember walking this one training session with one of the um, the coaches and he was asking me, Wellesie, his name is Wellesie, yeah, yeah. he was asking me, how many goals do you think you can score mm-hmm. before December? Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to aim for 12, 15, you know what I mean? Maybe that'll get people looking and then, you know, I'll stay the season and, you know, I'll probably get 30 and that's me gone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then he was like, mate, I think you can get 25 before Christmas. And I was like, 25? And he was like, yeah, mate, I think you've got that ability. 25 in all comps or 25 in the league? 25 in all comps. Which is still mad, but it's, yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, yeah, I think you can get that. And I was like, you believe that in me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, cool. If you believe that in me, then that's what Let's I'm aiming for. Happen. Yeah. And that conversation stayed between me and him. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's probably the first time I'm saying it out loud. Yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah, But that stayed between me and him. Mm-hmm. And I just kept that in my head thinking, yo, like, if he believes in me, i got to believe in myself like that. Mm-hmm. So I just, patient, just kept that in my head. And then the season started, missed the first two. Yeah, missed the first two. And, yeah, came on for one. And then I started against Leverhead. Way they first start bagged yeah. for 2 1 and then scored against Potter's Bar for 2 2. So, yeah, it was, I was I started well, yeah, and then I got benched this FA Cup game. And bro, I was fuming, yeah. bro. Thursday, ah, Thursday, <laughs> tradition, the head was gone. I was like, nah, Gaffer can't be doing this to me, no yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, bench Saturday, and I think someone told me, bro, just keep your head in it. Do you get me? My brother told me this on the Friday. He was like, bro, just go and show why what you can do. You're, yeah, what you can do, why you're you. On the Friday, on the Saturday, I was just calm. Do you get me? It was even weird, bro. I should be mad, but I was yeah. calm. Um, Gaffer said, telling me on the bench, you're going to win us the game. I'm like, cool. Yeah. Say no more. Come on the pitch now. All my friends are watching as well. You yeah. forgot that all my friends <laughs> were watching, bro. Um, I told him, yeah, come on, come on, come watch the game, bro. I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm here, I'm, I'm here on bench. That's why I was even mad. <laughs> I'm here on <in> bench. <laughs> bro, you know the ones there, fam. Um, and then, yeah, man, came on, done one mazy solo run, yeah. bagged 1-0. All my mates, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, They're yeah. there, gassing man up. I'm just yeah. like, yeah, man, like, this is, this is me. Like, yeah. this is where it's going to kick off, in it? And I think it was um, Braintree where we outside started, didn't it? Okay. Because... That day, um, I think Billy Brickner wasn't playing in it. Okay. And of these times, I was playing off the left, okay. and I still was playing off the left for the majority of that season in it. Mm-hmm. But I played up top that game, right. and I didn't mind it. But it was just a, such a shift in mentality. It was like, oh shit! All right, cool. Up top now, it's a different game. Mm. Range read. Apparently, they were doing well in their league. Whatever, whatever. Come beat them two nil. Mm. First goal, Ugh. bro. Even when I watch that game now, it sends shivers through my body in it yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just knew it was the start of something, yeah, innit? Yeah, That's yeah. when I had seven and seven. Um, my dad came to watch, my uncle, my brothers, my friends, like everyone came to that game yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm back to, I'm winning the game for us, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. That's when we outside started and I was just like, bro, we're here. We're here now. Like, yeah, we're here. I've like, arrived. Yeah, bro, like, I've arrived. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? This is the energy that I'm going to continue with, like, throughout the rest of the season. Do you know what Six. I mean? And no one's going to stop me. 
Sick. So yeah. let's forward forward a little bit to, to Christmas. How many goals? Because I, I st- seem to remember that period. How many goals did By you have? By Christmas, I had 24. And I think that's what I ended with because I didn't play a game after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I didn't play another game after 24 Christmas. 24 goals between August and December is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, and obviously, thing. you're gaining a lot of attention now. I remember seeing that like, this person's tweeting about you, this person's tweeting about you. Every picture that you tweet is getting their retweets and likes, and the fans are at you. Everyone's buzzing off you. And of course, obviously, there's probably clubs looking at you in all up and down the leagues, right? Some probably even maybe Premier League Championship clubs are looking at you. They were wrong. So, what's your mentality now? Are you thinking I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to come to me? Are you just focused on playing at Enfield? Like, where's your head at? Because obviously, things are going very well on the pitch, but it now means that some stuff is happening off the pitch, right? Mm. Like, some clubs are coming, some agents. Oh, can we sign you? We want to be your agent. We want to take you here. We want to take you there. Well, that don't go the time, here. Though. Don't go there. Everyone's in your ear now because you're that guy. So, what's your mentality? All right, what's my mentality now? I'd say my mentality now is just to focus on what's happening right now. Okay. Do you get me? Um, I've been through this before, obviously. I know what happens, isn't it? Yeah. But um, I think my mentality now is just to focus on what's happening now, do the best that I can for Enfield, make sure that, you know, the performances are still good because I feel like I'm performing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the goals are, I'm still doing my bit for the team, scoring the goals. Um, getting the assists, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, being more of a leader. Yeah. You know, what I, mean? I feel like this year, like being more of a leader with, with the players yeah, of, yeah. on the pitch, off the pitch. Um, and I think everything else will sort out itself, bro. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? I feel like so. Sorry, so that 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 after scoring those twenty four goals, so you know, are you thinking right, Jan, I'm gone. After those twenty four yeah, goals. But, are you thinking, Jan, I'm gone? Or are you, you thinking, go to the end of the season? 100%. Like, no. no, I'm not even thinking. Jan, the end of the I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> See you later, man. See you so, later. So, I don't know if you're able to talk about it, but obviously, we, we know where you ended up signing. But are you allowed to talk about some of the clubs that maybe had a, had an interest in you at mm. that time? Bro, Bear. Yeah. Like Palace. Wow. Um, QPR. Wow. Uh, Oxford. Quite a lot of could have should have signed for them. <laughs> Palace too, bro. Yeah. If I was a bit patient, yeah, I could have signed for Palace. If I was patient, if I was a bit more patient, I could have signed for. I had options, bro. Do you know what I mean? From top to down, yeah. do you get me? It's just about what path I wanted to go. Yeah. Do you get me? But at that time, I had no agent. Um, obviously, I had a lot of people that wanted to look after me, but I just didn't trust anyone in it. And that's probably one of the lessons that I learned that I should have actually let someone look after me yeah. at that time. Do you get me? Mm. Um, get a bit of help from somebody and be like, who do I pick? Yeah. Do you get me? But at that time, all I had was agents, 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 right, agents, right, agents, right, agents. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, didn't have no one beside me. They'd be like, that's a good agency. Yeah. That's all. I think you should go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Like, I didn't have no one like that. So, um, yeah, I was kind of on my own. I was just thinking, and I was encouraged by like my dad, just do it alone in it. Like a lot of people want to profit off you, which was true. A lot of people Very did true. probably want to profit off me in it. Like half of you lot didn't, he- most of you lot didn't hear about man until two months ago. Yeah. Do you get me? And now you trying to say I've got your best interest, mate. <laughs> you don't right now. You don't. You barely like know me. Yeah, 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 you don't. Yeah. You don't know me. You don't know my story. What yeah. I've been through. Do you know what I mean? So um, and I've been through a lot for this ball team, man. Like, a lot of emotions shed for it, man. For sure, man. You get me. Sure. Like, so where did you end up end up signing? Obviously, you know, I ended up signing for Bolton. Yeah. You get me? Um obviously signed there because first team and like what was said was that, you know, come in and play and do you know what I mean and stuff like that. But um obviously that didn't quite happen. Massive club by the way. Oh, uh, brother. Massive, massive great club. club. Great club. Yeah, I, I can't even lie to you. Great club, massive club. I was even thinking, bro, I Growing up, we had man like Kevin Davis, Ivan Campbell, oh. JJ Kocha, these man. Bolton was a good team. There was like a top six team. Bro, when top growing up, bro. Si- bro, imagine, bro. Good team, bro. I'm thinking, bro, and I was thinking, who would have, me watching Match of the Day at 10 years old, bro, 10 years later, who would have thought man's going to sign for Bolton, fam? Bro, Do you get me? I'll never think it, fam. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? So for me, at that time, it was kind of stuff of dreams, bro. Yeah, definitely. Do you bro. get me? Like, how can I reject Bolton, bro? Yeah, bro. You don't. Yeah, Do you yeah, get me? Yeah. So at the time I was thinking, fam, this and little story, September twenty nineteen, I actually went on trial for Bolton, innit? And I done sick and they wanted to sign Mandarin then as in like oh, straight. Okay. 
Okay. And I let Bolton know. I mean, I let Enfield know on it. Mm-hmm. So I played for Bolton on the Monday mm-hmm. in September. And then on the Tuesday, I played for Enfield, didn't it? Right. And we won 2-0 at, against Brighton in C. Right. And um, so Gaffer's, Gaffer's got everyone in the huddle. He's like, yeah, well done, boys. You know, another win. Great win. Dun, 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 dun. But I just want to let you know that Mo's off the Bolton. You know what I mean? He signed them, this, this and that. And I was like, Gaffer, Gaffer. I was like, Gaffer, why are you telling me it's not? <laughs> Which is true. At the time, yeah. I was off, in it? Because yeah, yeah. like, I basically told him, innit? Yeah, and yeah. like, they were basically literally working things out. It was basically a formality, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah, But he told everyone, and it was like, this is Mo's farewell game. And then I was like, hugs. Oh. I was like, Gaffer, Gaffer. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't got to tell them. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I was cool with it, innit? Because yeah, I was like, he ain't lying, innit? Yeah, Do you get yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah. He's, he's saying what he's saying. And then the days just go on, bro. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This will be done by Saturday. Saturday's come. Nothing. Nothing. And then to the end, they were just like, listen, we can't sign you because, like, you know, we reached our embargo thing. They were under embargo at the time, innit? So, yeah, they were just like, yeah, we can't sign you, innit? And I was like, that's head loss. Yeah. And then I was like, calm in it, we move in it. It took me like a couple of days to get over that. For sure. And then I think we played Cray on the Saturday after that. Like bag two, we won five three. Yeah. And I was like, that's that's when I had ten and ten. I was like, calm. My head's back here, and yeah. you get me. So Definitely yeah, man. Know. So yeah, now now you've signed up Bolton, obviously you move up to Bolton, which is just outside Manchester. I think yeah, right? twenty minutes. Yeah, just outside Manchester. What's what's that like? Now you're a professional footballer, now you're a full time footballer. How does that feel? Is it a relief? You're thinking, like, this is this is it, man. Like, after everything, after all this shit in Italy, after all this Kingstonian man, just just with me out, uh, this and that. I'm here. I'm not the Kingstonian man, just with him. Don't finish me. Hey. Yeah, so now you're thinking, flipping out, right, cool, man. I've done it. I'm, I'm a professional footballer. Mm. Like, what was that? What was that feeling like? That moving up there, you're like, this is real. You step on that training pitch, you're a professional footballer. How does that feel? I don't think I can replace that feeling, bro. Yeah, bro. You see that feeling? You only get it once. Like, once you sign your contract and you, I'm a professional now, you only get that feeling once. Because I know, like, when I sign pro again, yeah, I know I probably won't get that same feeling. Mm. But that first feeling, that oh, I'm here. Like, yeah, thank you, Allah. Like, yeah. thank God. I thank you for everything, bro. I yeah. think I remember I was in the hotel at these times. I think spent a week in the hotel. Mm-hmm. I was um, I was just excited, bro. Do you get me? I was side jumping on my bed, like I was just like, I think I I remember like, so I posted on socials, isn't it? Like yeah. you know, you know, I've, I've signed for Bolton, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. I literally looked at my phone like this. And I was like, my life's about to change. Yeah, bro. Once I tweet this, yeah. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I tweeted it. Yeah. I just dropped my phone. And I was like, bro, I've signed for Bolton. Yeah, bro. Do you get me? And they Crazy. even told me, like, we're going to tweet this at 4.30, mm-hmm. like, or put it on Instagram, whatever. Be ready. Yeah. Bro, I was just sitting on my phone. It's that 4.15. Mm. Just on the phone with my yeah, dad. Just, yeah, do you get me? Yeah. I was on the phone, on the phone with my girl at the time. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, fam, like, she, she was, we even had a previous comment. I was just like, fam, our lives about to change. Yeah. Yeah, like man. so mad and then um yeah i hung up had the moment to myself and i was like fam i'm a pro now like yeah, nobody can speak to me like yeah. i've achieved my lifelong dream since i was like six yeah. seven like don't matter if it's not if it's prem or whatever but yeah. i've signed my pro like nobody can speak to me yeah. do you get me like i can do shit for the rest yeah. of my life yeah. but yeah, I've, I've made achieved I've, a goal. I've, I've achieved up. a goal. Like I've yeah. signed my pro. I've made two apps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've made two appearances in League One, bro. Yeah, Do you yeah. get me? So, yeah, man, I can always be proud of that and just tell my kids that. Listen, I achieved something that I said I was gonna do. Like, yeah. So that shouldn't stop you with anything that you want to do. Definitely. Do you get me? Definitely. I can back my chat. Yeah, yeah. So, so what was the what was the experience like at Bolton? Because obviously, kind of like you talked to, touched on it. The about the September 2019 and how they had the embargo. Right, right. See, the club is kind of going through financial troubles at, at, yeah. at the time. So how much did that impact, like, the amount that you played? Like, was it difficult for you to get into the team and stuff? Because, you know, the manager's like, I have to win. Like, I haven't mm. got time for you to get acclimatised to the league. Bro, that's, we ha- I think, you have to win. <laughs> I think that's literally what happened to me. Yeah. 
he has to win. Yeah. Do you get me? Like he wants his job, he has to keep his job. Like yeah. of course they're gonna say, Yeah, you come in actually whatever, whatever. But it was never gonna happen, fam. Yeah. Do you get me? I probably should have went to a stable club that probably had time yeah. to nurture to man. Nurture you. Do yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah. Like, you know, we're good like, you know, the club's gonna be good. Like, yeah, we'll bring him in, do you get me? Ease him in, phrase him in, like but they just didn't have that time for me. Mm-hmm. And then the season after, I, I understand now, like probably the manager didn't have time to, you know, do the same thing. He's going to get league two top scorer, league two top scorer. Do you get me? He's going to get big boy forwards, yeah. big boy midfielders. Do you get me? Experience. Yeah, man. Do yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah. Boys that are in league two player, um, team of the year and that. Yeah. Do you get me? He ain't got probably time for me who's just come up from like rhyming in it yeah, do you know yeah, what i mean yeah. so like, i understand it in it obviously i wish i was given an opportunity mm. to get me to show what i could do fam. because like in pre-season i was doing well bro like i was came back top three fittest fam yeah. like fit bro yeah. um was doing well scored and then i broke my foot again same get, foot same foot fam but not the same side it was the big toe in it yeah. that i broke but it was weird bro like I broke it while scoring. Like I toe pointed the ball, mm-hmm. but this defender came across me in it, and I, I, I don't know. I didn't even feel it, bro. Right. But um, yeah, it's just. And then I went. We done a week preseason in Love, bro. Mm-hmm. My foot was still hurting. But I was just like, oh, it's whatever. Yeah. Then we came back to Lostock, the training ground, mm-hmm. and my foot literally just gave up, bro. Like it just broke down. I couldn't run no more. Right. Yeah, I had to pull out, and then they just thought, oh, like you know your ankle or something whatever whatever because it was hurting around my ankle as well right. and then after a week it was getting better but then we went out to run i was just like can't do it can't do it man and then they got a scan because it was baffling them mm. and then they were like ah. so i want to say sorry like that we'd even pick up on this or whatever whatever but it turns out that you've broken your foot like little hairline fracture and i was like bro i laughed I bust out. I was like, no cracking way. up, bro. I was like, lol, no way. <laughs> Say swear I broke my foot. Nah. Yeah, so from like August to like November, late October, <laughs> head loss, bro. Fucking no. And then obviously I know you actually went out on loan. To Barnet. To Barnet. Was the decision there, kind of the gaffer saying to you, we want you to go out and play? Was that you going into the manager's office and saying that you want to play? How did that kind of... No, it was the manager saying, Go do out. one, mate. Oh, do one? Yeah, bro. Wow. Yeah, it's him saying like... Listen, and this like, isn't the manager who signed you, I take it. This is no, a different manager. Yeah, so right, right, right. This is a different one. Like, there's a lot of stuff in the build-up and stuff like that that happened in it. Like... <sighs> Anyway, yeah, yeah. So you've, you've one been, day, you've but been, um, yeah, you've been sent to to buy it on loan. Yeah, are you happy um, to kind of go down there because you know you're gonna get to play? No, I'll even bit. tell you what happened that day, fam. Like I was training, like um, I came in and what happened? Yeah, I was training, came in. Um, I've asked him, oh, where are we training? He's told me here. I'm like, cool. Then he's pulled me into the office after he's got someone to get me. Then he's pulled me in, he's saying. I think it's at like 10 at this moment, isn't it? He's like, so Barnet have come in for you. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they want you in it. So how do you feel about that? I was like, uh, you know, really, I don't really want to go on it, but mm-hmm. I still want to continue training. Like, because I'd only come back a week before that. Right. Do you get me? From injury. Yeah. Right. Um, I was like, I just want to continue getting fit and like, you know what I mean? Continue training, getting better. And then hopefully, you know, be involved at some point or work prove to you that I can be involved in it. Do you get me? And then um he was just like, listen, it's either you leave alone or you train with the kids from and I was just like, why does it have to be like this? Like do you get me but like we're so cut for it though, man. This it is, is, I'm glad you're saying these things is because it's very important for like, hopefully like maybe some young players are listening to this or players who haven't really been in the professional game and don't understand how these things go. But bro, it's not all roses, club, man. Yeah, when a club wants you to do something, you're doing it. Kind of. Kind of, bro. Because <laughs> yeah, like, I really could have stayed and trained with the kids, but well, I don't know what that would have done to my mental health, innit? No, nah, it wouldn't have been. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have been good for me, bro. Because like, he talked about doing that and it's just horrible. Bro, like, I was just thinking, like, <sighs> I could go out alone, go home, be with my family. Um, things could go well. Yeah. And I'd be happy. 
And I could probably come back here in better spirits, in better terms with him, mm-hmm. showing that I can do it, whatever, whatever. Or I can stay here with the kids mm-hmm. or train with the under 18s, yeah. lose my head. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've just come back from injury. I wasn't in even a good place mentally. Yeah. Do you get me? And I'm coming back to do this. I don't think I can do that. Mate. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it was, I could have stayed. Like, I wasn't going to let him break, man. There was stuff that was going on from previous that, like, you know, that could have made man lose my head in it. Do you get me? Like, man changed my squad number from 9 to 33. I was, But I was I think I was the only one that got his squad number changed. Everyone else kept their numbers in it. So I was just thinking, why? why? And he gave my, my team to a youth team player. Not even a new signing. Bro, not, not a new signing, bro. A youth team player, bro. And I was just thinking... Why? Okay. Do you get me? Strange, but okay. Very strange, bro. It's very strange, fam. Yeah. I got changed from 19 to 33. And I was thinking, you've made a youth team player nine, than me when he should be with the 33. Yeah. And I can't even lie, fam. I feel like later on down the line, I'm going to use that 33. I'm going to remember, I'm going to use that 33. I remember you gave me that number. Yeah. I'm going to wear it now. Yeah. I'm going to lend goals in that number too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he just told me, uh, you have to sign before 12, innit? Yeah. You have to sign documents before 12 or and this is what's going on. So I just spoke to someone that I was talking to and then talked to my dad, just rushing through things. And then, yeah, spoke to the gaffer. He was just like, the Barnet gaffer, he was yeah. just like, yeah, we're pleased to have you. Da-na-na-na. Trust me, you need to be enjoying your football. Like, I've followed you for ages, like, yeah, yeah. talent. Show man a lot of love, mm-hmm. kind of what I needed, innit? Mm-hmm. So I was just like, fam, let me just get out of here, man. You get me. Mm. I don't need this no more. So I just, I just, so I just went to Barnet. So did things like, work out for you at, at, at Barnet? No, it was even worse. <laughs> <laughs> it was even worse, bro. Like, like <laughs> I'm just happy that, like, when I was at Barnet, that yeah. I had family. Yeah, I had my family. I had my friends. Um, I had my my network yeah. of people around me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um, but on the pitch, things got worse in it. But I'd say that that was. There was a period from probably say mid December to probably mid February. That's the hardest, or March, yeah. hardest I've trained in my life. As in, like on the pitch and doing everything, doing my extras, and trying as hard as hell in training, going to do the extras after in the gym. Do you get me? After doing the extras on the pitch, do you get me? Doing the running with the parachute to make sure I'm getting faster. Yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. bro. I was doing everything in my power to make sure that, like, listen, even, you know, going to Gaffer's office, what can I do? Like, you know, you see me doing this, you see me doing that. Like, I've got the GPS on, like, look what I'm doing. Do you get me? Just putting the facts there. Do yeah. you get me? He's saying I'm not running enough in, in the game, but I've done the most in the team. Like, I've got the high sprint speed, I've got this, I've got that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what you're trying to tell me doesn't back what yeah, yeah, yeah. you're saying. Do you get me? And I'm doing this on the left wing. Right. Um, and I'm a striker. Do you get me? Like, just a lot of <sighs> bullshit, bro. In yeah. my opinion, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you get me? But that's football for you, isn't it? Yeah, do you yeah, get yeah. me? Like, some so managers if, will take if, to you. Someone. The, the annoying thing for me is he's kind of come to you, right? Like they've come to Bolton and said, "Oh, we really want this player." Oh, and then that manager got sacked. The one that oh, told me to come got yeah. sacked, and then they brought in a new. See, that's the other thing, right? That that's, that we don't talk about enough in football is that. The management very much shapes your experience at a football club. So you That's can true. be brought in by one manager and then he leaves a week later mm-hmm. because whatever, he's not getting on with the, the higher people. And now it's a whole different experience. And now yep. you're a player that this new manager doesn't really want, but you're here for a certain amount of time and you kind of have to figure it it's out. It's happened to me in a, in a row, bro. <laughs> yeah. At ball and then yeah. it's happened to me at ball and it. I'm just yeah. thinking my luck. Like, yeah, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? But then that same manager that I was trying hard with, he got sacked. Yeah. And um, who's the girl about? Paul Fairclough. Right. He's English, he's English manager. I right. love Paul Fairclough. Paul Fairclough. Okay. What, what a great guy, isn't it? Okay. You know I mean, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was telling me stuff about myself that I was even thinking, how do you know about that? How do you know <laughs> that about me? Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But he was also a reading man, innit? And right. understanding that, listen, like, you're a player that needs love mm-hmm. and to be given trust. Do you get me? Like, I trust you. Go and do your thing. Yeah, yeah. And he was saying a lot more other stuff, but it touched, man, innit? Yeah, yeah, get me? yeah. Because that was the first time I ever met him in my life. Yeah. But he's seen me a thousand times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. get me? 
So um, yeah, he put a lot of trust in man. I was, I think he was in charge for like three games, done well. Yeah. But then he left. <laughs> it was just a week, fam. A week of happiness, fam. <laughs> and then the the physio took over. And that was a mad thing. And then, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then someone else took over. But by then I was I was injured in it. So wow. with, um, my knee. Wow. Something weird happened. I don't even know. But I kept man out. Yeah. And then that was my season. Wow. Done. And then so I think originally what I bought when you signed like. 18, 18 months, months. Yeah. so your well, contract's up at Bolton, your loan's over at Barnet now. Um, kind of that pre season now, what are you thinking? Are you thinking it's well, the I've most just, lost I've ever been? Yeah, you're just thinking, I've just played in the league, Barnet are in the conference when you went, Barnet are in the conference. I've just played like three, three or four leagues higher, and then now down to the conference, which is a couple of leagues higher than where I was at Enfield. Are mm-hmm. you thinking? can definitely get another club in league one league two 100%. or i can definitely get a club in the higher conference that's pushing for player is that your is i that was your thinking league two conference i can do that yeah like what i just done shouldn't just be discarded like yeah. that do you get me it was literally only 18 months ago yeah, yeah, yeah. like a year yeah just covid basically yeah 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 but obviously things don't work like that yeah do you get for me? sure and i was just thinking surely i can but People forget quick in football, bro. Yeah, man. They're like, so it's scary how there's quick a, there's people a new, forget. There's a new hot kid on the block that they're looking always, at. Always, always a new yeah. hot kid on the block. And it's just like, bro, how can you dis- dis- just discard what I've done, bro? Like, yeah. my talent just doesn't just go like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm still that same player, bro. Yeah, yeah, Do you get yeah. me? Or even better. Do you yeah. get me? Like, don't forget. So, obviously, I've barely played, basically. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, And people are just wondering, like, oh, what's going on with him? You know what I mean? Oh, when no, 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 he's gone to Barnet, hasn't really played. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, what I mean, well, he's not fit for the level. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, they're doubting. In my head, they're yeah, doubting. I'm doubting, but obviously they don't see that. You know, they don't see the struggle or what the players actually gone through in it. Yeah. So, um, at this summer, I'd say no. I'd say I was this the most lost. That was the most lost I have been personally mm-hmm. with football ever. I was thinking, where do I go from here? Yeah. Like. No one wants, man. Yeah. If you get me, like, it kind of makes you doubt your abilities a little bit and stuff like that. Um, but I'd even, I'll tell you now, I didn't train this whole summer. Really? Just because Th- mentally you couldn't? You yeah, couldn't. mentally. Yeah, I was just, stuck, bro. Yeah. I won't lie to you. Mentally, I was stuck. Like, the season ended late May, mm-hmm. a week later, or nine days later. I was in Gambia, bro. Right. But that's the best thing that happened to me. Yeah. You needed to go home. Bro, I needed to go home. I saw family, um, friends. You get me? Like, But it was important for me to be around family, for me to be in that environment, to remember what I'm doing this for, why I'm doing this for, and how different life could have been. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing others of like, how little they have, but how happy, happy they are home. with it. Do you know what I mean? And I'm just thinking, bro, like, I've got all this back home with me and... I ain't happy. Yeah. But these lot have got minimal yeah. and they're happy. Definitely. You know what I mean? And I was just thinking, fam, with the little I have, I, I'm, I should be happy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it kind of just shifted my mentality, um, took me away from this Western world, which is just so fast paced, bro. Definitely. You know I mean, you go back home and everything is just slow. Yeah. Do you get me? Maybe it's just the, the change in places, but that's how it felt to me. And yeah. my mind was at rest, bro. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So, with football, everything was still, you know, a bit over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But within me, which is the most important thing, I found centre. Yeah, Do you get yeah, me? Definitely. And how much does your like faith play into to like your mentality and your your thoughts about the future and all these things? Because everything, bro. Yeah, you talk about like obviously you always tweet about you know God and stuff on on Twitter yes. and all that kind of stuff. So like, how much does that play into to your mindset? <laughs> always, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's the thing that keeps me going, keeps me strong. Mm-hmm. Um, bro, in the toughest moments, bro, like I'll be low on like belief and whatever it may be, but. I always have that little bit that'll take me back to to Allah, to the prayer man, and just yeah. be like, listen, man, I need this. Yeah. I want this. Like, you know, and Allah always says that, like, you know, like, um, with patience comes ease in it. Yeah. Do you get me? So I'm always just thinking like, no, it's after hardship comes ease, sorry. Yeah. Do you get me? So this hardship that I'm going through, surely ease must come in it. Do you get me? So I'm just thinking 
uh, I just got to keep persevering in it. Yeah. Do you get me? And there's another one where it says, after you're being tired, be patient. Right. And even after you're being tired, be patient. He says it yeah. f- three times. Yeah. So I'm just thinking, just be patient, be patient, be patient. Be t- oh. I, I think the key word is actually patience. Bro. Yeah, bro. Without patience, you can't get nothing good in it. Sure, so sure. yeah, man. It, I don't know. It plays. It plays a big part, man. You know, before I step out on the pitch, like if there's videos in it, you'll see. You know, before the game starts, I'm always doing, um, du'a in it, prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's yeah. just, it's everything to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, man. It, it's it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sick, so, man. so let's let's talk about this season now. What we're, what we're I've quite got so much to talk about that faith <laughs> bit, bro. I, yeah. I, I I barely said what I wanted to say yeah, yeah, yeah. about it. Yeah. But like, bro, like it's just so much. Yeah. It's, there's so much angles t- to touch on, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh, faith is it's just amazing, bro. Yeah, bro. You can you see the passion in the way you talk that, that it, it really means a, it means a lot to you, man. You can, you no, it does, bro, man. It yeah. does, it does, it does. Because I don't know, like, without it, bro, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know, bro, I don't know if I'll be sane, fam. Yeah, bro. But we move, man. <laughs> we move same way, man. Yeah, bro. So, yeah, this season, what we're calling in hashtag phase two. Ah, uh, this is P2. <laughs> right? Shout out P2. If you know, if you know, you know, it. you get me. Phase two, man. Yeah. Hey, so you see, ugh. So, so you know what, let me even share the story of where that was born. Fam. Let's do it. So obviously now I think what day is this? I think it's um Euros. Yeah. It might have been the Euros. No. It weren't even the Euros. I'm capping, weren't the Euros? Yeah. It's at Kuf. It might be the Euros or it might be my boy had like a little motive in it. Right. And um me and three other men them like, them my my boys in it, all yeah. Gambian right. stuff in it. We were just in my boy's living room, innit? And we were just all talking about each other's past and like where we're trying to go, lights are off, like, you know, we're watching TV, mm-hmm. paid in full, I think. And we're just talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever. And then it gets to me now. And then I was just telling these my brothers, I was lost, fam. Yeah. Do you get me? This is the most confused I've been. Then and then these were just giving me some like inspiration and we were just talking, innit? And one of them, bro, I, bro, I don't know who it was, yeah. but Big up in it, but we all when it was said, it was like, mmm, yeah. like, but there was just like, listen, bro, like, you've gone through what you've gone through with Bolton mm-hmm. and them things, <coughs> you've gone through what you've gone through with Bolton, innit? Yeah, um, that was just the first part of the chapter, bro. Mm-hmm. What are coming through now is the second, bro. This is this is phase two, bro. <laughs> and I was you like, felt that, innit? Bro, when he said that, I was like. <laughs> Phase two, <laughs> bro. This, this is, is phase it. two, <laughs> bro. I was like, nah, like, bro. I was like, bro, you've done something with that one. That one's hit me. Yeah. This is phase two. This is the energy I'm just gonna carry, bro, through everything in it. Yeah, bro. So, um, from then, that's where it was born in it with the man, them, yeah, in our fields, man. Do you know what I mean? It was like even 3 a.m., bro, yeah, but um, yeah, man. And then since then, like, just been carrying that same energy, bro. Like, this is the second phase where I'm just gonna do everything better. Um, try to be more professional. Try be um more of a leader. Try um better my goals, Sally. Just try to be everything and more, and do things the right way. So where I might have gone left, in the first time I was doing this, yeah. Um, when I scored all them goals, I can do it the right way now. Right. I can see where I veered left mm. and put myself straight. Right. Do you get me? With God's help, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because even now, this is still different. If you get me, like the expectations are different. Um, having 18 goals right now is like, oh, it's, it's Mohammed foul, you know what I mean? Yeah, He's just doing what he normally does, but yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not easy, bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is that, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's just different. Yeah, do you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I can just see where I've went wrong and just correct it. Yeah, do, yeah, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, like you say, you kind of come full circle back. Right. Uh, back to back to Enfield now, and this is kind of your second uh, 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 phase. Right. You're doing amazing, obviously. Like we say, you got 18 God, goals already, um, and you've just recently, I think, even was it last week or two weeks ago, you've now signed a contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's obviously, funny given that 
the last time you had the discussion around contract, they were like, they it's sure. funny, isn't it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> full now, circle, bro. Tell him. They, they can't wait to get your signature on the paper, but that's kind of just how, how football goes. Um, Do you know what's funny? I, I said from the start of the season, I want to sign a deal. Yeah. Let me sign a deal. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, cool. So they were on the same wave and it just took a bit of time to get it done in it. So it was it was coming in it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was patient either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously now you signed the contract. Is the plan for you to still try and get back into the league? Um, is the plan st- just, or are you just focused on this season, having a good season and then see what happens at the, oh, at the end of the season? I'm trying to be the best Muhammad Ifa. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to get back in the league. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to show everyone what I can do if I'm with an opportunity yeah. because I feel like, that's what I deserve, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've worked hard. I'm still working hard. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm still waking up at six. You know, grinding. Bro. Often. Do you know what I mean? Like the days you think I'm sleeping after a game or on a Monday, I'm up. Yeah, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. On the odd day, man, sleeping. <laughs> but you know, more time, bro. I'm I'm training. Do you get me? I want to be. I want to be the best version of man. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I want to be in the league again. Like I'm doing this. For myself, my family, um, my future family. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That like, there's a purpose to everything that I'm doing in it. Yeah. Um, the, the the funny thing is, like, it doesn't surprise me, right, that you went through that first stint of scoring 24 goals. You're now scoring 18 goals because yourself and like, the others in the group, the Paul Elias, is the far has that like, man was there, isn't it, in Barking right, Park, right, where right, you man right. are setting up these boxes and right. doing these little tight touches and these little games, and it's super competitive, and everyone's trying to win. That like, people just think, oh man, got lucky, or look at this guy, he scored twenty goals in the season. Like, there's a lot of hard work that there's goes a lot, into lot these of things. preparation, bro. a lot of pain. Like you're talking about going out <sighs> to Italy and all of these things, and being low and injuries and not qu- getting an opportunity but not quite being given an opportunity right and so all of these things kind of come together and make you who Mohamedou felt is today you get me bro 100%. and it's like people just see the short term so people might just think oh who's this guy kind of come they just out see the result and he's doing his thing cold but they don't understand all of the what things it took that to get there you've been in a dojo you've been <sighs> doing you've been doing this thing you've, you've been there do you get what i'm saying so it doesn't surprise me thanks and, bro man. and you know i think moving forward like you know, getting back into the league should should be no problem for you. Inshallah. Yeah, man. Kind of all these all these numbers you're putting up and and the kind of goals I'm seeing you score and the contribution to your team. I appreciate should that. Be, it should be no problem for you at all. But it seems like a vibe problem. over info at the moment, man. Bro, it's such a vibe, bro. <laughs> man, like, damn, my dancing, brother, everyone's hey, celebrations. Brother, it's lit. You know, <laughs> shout out P. You get yeah, me? Yeah, shout yeah. out P. Shout yeah. out Maja, Jerry, yeah. Nath, yeah. AC. Know what I mean? Shout out the man, the man. You get me? Um, yeah, man, we're all vibing, man. Like, yeah. you know, even even sh- shout out the whole squad. Yeah. Because um, to, the togetherness that we, we're we showing yeah. at the moment, like, it's it's mad. Like, it don't matter if we go a goal down. Do yeah. you get me? Like, yesterday, one of our, we scored the own goal, fam. Yeah. We went one out and scored the own goal, fam. Yeah. But we all, like, Relax, tranquilo, fine. tranquilo. Yeah. Do you get me? We knew we was going to win. Yeah. And we went on one. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think last week was even worse, bro. Mm. Like, we one nil, went down, Corinthian casual, shit pitch, yeah. heavy pitch. One of them games where it's, whoever goes one nil up, you're probably going to win. Right. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we turned it around, fam. Like, we won 2 1 in it. We scored yeah. in the last 15 minutes. I bagged, and then this other guy called Lau scored in it. Yeah, yeah. But when we scored that second goal, like, everyone was. Buzzing off that, yeah, do you yeah, get me? Yeah. Like that energized everyone. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And like even now, like this season when we're celebrating, everybody wants to celebrate together. Yeah. Do you get me? Like you'll see it in in the videos and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Like we're all pleased for each other, innit? If yeah, yeah, yeah. someone's doing a celebration, we're joining. Yeah, yeah, if I'm yeah. doing a celebration, we're joining. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think there's a pic on Insta where um little story um I put um a picture in it. I think yeah. of this NFL player. Yeah. He was doing um you know what Erling yeah, Haaland yeah, done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He done that and then um. My brother AC, he was like, that's the next celebration, bro. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. like, calm, say nothing. Join me when we're doing it, innit? Yeah, yeah. So I think I assisted him to yeah. score against Kingstonian, innit? Okay. And then he was like, ah, oh, the camp, the camp, let's go to the camp. <laughs> so he ran to the camp now and then we just done it. Yeah. But then PK, he knows yeah. nothing about the celebration, by the way, yeah. by, um, beforehand. Yeah. He just sees us doing it, but he joins. Yeah, Do you yeah, get yeah. me? And then everybody else is buzzing off yeah, it. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. that's the picture, innit? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So... 
it just shows that yeah the you know what i mean now we're all yeah, in it yeah. together man i feel like we all realize that there's something something cooking here isn't it? and yeah, yeah. yeah man, sick, I think man and it's sick to see that you're kind of you're the driving force there right like you're one, so, of the, you're one of the 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 main men kind of driving enfield um to, to have a great season thank you, bro. Thank you. yeah like, let's hopefully let's see let's see what happens what happens next man let's see what happens ah, it's next. gonna be it's gonna be good bro man yeah. you get me 100 yeah. man it's gonna be you get me just tune into the story innit? yeah you know, that's how i see my life bro yeah you know yeah, what i mean yeah, i see yeah. my life as in like it's, it's bigger than ball yeah you get me yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's bigger than that my purpose is bigger than that like um like my name is the chosen one. Like my name, Mohammedi yeah. Mustafa, means the chosen one, isn't it? Okay. So, like, I take a lot of power and yeah. purpose from that, innit? Mm-hmm. And I found that out in Italy. Okay. So when I was like depressed and down and like lonely, bro, like yeah. no one around, man, I started like diving back into like my Quran, innit? Yeah. And like just learning more about Islam and my religion. Like, not again, but you know, because there's always more to know. It. I just started learning more and stuff like that, and I started learning about the prophet in it because I'm named after the prophet, yeah. Salah alaihi wasallam. And then, um, yeah, I was just reading. I was just like, his name means the chosen one. Yeah. And I messaged my dad. I was like, oh, I didn't know his name means the chosen one, innit? Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, that's what it means, and that's what you are. Yeah. So take heed from that. I was like, Pfft. I've just found my purpose, man. Yeah. Do you get me? I found my power. I found everything. So when I'm down, I'm going to just remember, bro, you're the chosen, chosen one. one. Do you get me? Like, like you've got to make this happen. Yeah. And from young, like, my dad's been like, you're the one. Like, mm-hmm. that's going to do this. That's going to do that. That's going to, you know, be a blessing to this family and whatever, whatever. And I didn't really heed what you're saying or know what yeah, you're saying. But, it, but now powerful. that when you get older and, like, you know, words that were said 10 years ago are just playing out now. It's just deeper. mad to see. Do you get deeper, me? Man. Yeah, it's deeper. deeper. It's deeper than ball. It's deeper than everything. Do you know what I mean? I see big things for myself even 10 years from now, yeah, 20 yeah. years from now. Inshallah, I'm alive to, to see these things happen. Yeah. But um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, this ball thing is just a vehicle for me to to do what I was supposed to do here. Do you know what I'm saying? Do yeah. you get me? But I hope through... Or I have some good memories, yeah. you know, win some things, yeah, yeah, yeah. enjoy myself, and then yeah. whatever comes after that is is life. Yeah, I hope so, man. I hope so. Well, I really appreciate you coming coming down on the podcast, man, and, and telling your story and just being so open, man, about the highs, the lows, the everything in between. You have to, bro. You have to let people know just, the player. It's not just we outside phase two mm. and scoring bare goals. Like there's there's work, there's loads oh. that go into these things and I think it's important for there's people. There's pain to, in the face, yeah, bro. Yeah, man, there's pain. <laughs> bro, you think that face yeah. is so lightly, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But there's pain in the face, you yeah. know, you get me, there's insideness and the outsideness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, man. But big up everyone who tuned in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all them good 100. things and all of that. Shout out Mads for coming down. I really appreciate, appreciate you, bro, it, bro. Man. And I feel like we got to have another conversation. Maybe 100. at the end of the season or something. 100%, bro. Just shout me. Things, man. We're 100%, some bro. Things. Bro, just shout me, man. We're <laughs> come on, bro. Come we're on. There, man. We're but, there, man. We're there. That's been a Detailed on Map podcast. We'll see you guys again soon. Peace. Peace.